Kentucky Fried Chicken robbery in, in Long Island, and they killed the manager and the worker. So I'm in jail with these guys. They go to trial. They blow trial. So these guys are doing 50 to life. My cellmate came home from trial. Meanwhile, I know that I'm still waiting for trial, and he's all upset. I'm trying to, yo, don't worry about it. You know, you'll be home one day, but really, he, he, he's not he's coming facing, home. He never coming home. Right. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. The reason why you and your wife broke up at that time is because she couldn't wait for you to come out? No, she found out all the dirt. Yeah, while oh, I was so in. Oh, she didn't even know? Well, I, yeah, because well, I was a bad boy. Female dirt? Female dirt. There was oh, female okay. dirt. Yeah. She knew about the money. She knew when she opened up a box of cornflakes <laughs> and it was stuffed with money. She knew I ain't, right. I ain't get that from working. That's right. Because I worked behind the scenes. I was, I was going to college. I was also a security investigator. So that, and that's where my... That's where my expertise to the mom. Yeah, so you place. knew, you knew, yeah, you knew so, some things. Yeah, so I was the behind the scenes. It wasn't these ruthless guys right. that go out there with guns and shoot. That's what out. I was on. It was all carefully planned back then. Remember, there weren't that many cameras. There wasn't that many, and there was an honor code back then. So that that's what was you know intriguing to me. How the, do you change from that into comedy though? Like like how does that go? My whole life, you know, you, we. My, I've created my own obstacles. Okay. Right? So we do that, right? I grew up in a great family, great parents. You know, they're deceased. God rest their soul. Now nah, they died early of, of ailments. But they, uh, you know, I created these obstacles and learned the hard way because we always wanted shortcuts, you know, we, even though we know better, you know. So at that point, um, once I got out of jail, it was kind of one of those things where family was more important and my freedom, you know. When you're yeah. in jail locked up with guys... You know, I had cellmates because they had me on a high bail because they they wanted to they knew that I knew a lot of things so they wanted to make sure I didn't get out. So and but the mob was also there because that was my behind ties and they never had to threaten me. Mm -hmm. I knew the code. There's an honor code which nobody cares about today. But in in any event, when you I was locked up with guys that were. That probably still in jail of that. That's already. right. That's right. So when you when you see that reality in your life, you know I, I remember these guys that a, a Kentucky Fried Chicken robbery in in Long Island and they killed the manager and the worker. So I'm in jail with these guys. They go to trial. They blow trial. So these guys are doing fifty to life. My cellmate came home from trial. Meanwhile, I know that I'm still waiting for trial, and he's all upset. I'm trying to yo don't worry about it. You know you'll be home one day, but. Really, he he, he, not facing, he never coming home. Right. So I'm sitting there, and that's why I had to do a reality check. You know, I had kids. I wanted to get out for freedom. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I kind of made, you know, we all make that little pact with God yeah. where we say, listen, that's right. this you, is it. That you get me through this, I'm going I'm to try really hard to be a better person. But yeah. even when I'm thinking about, you say you're the behind the scenes person and you're dealing with the mob. And when I think about the police with a behind the scenes person, I'm like, okay, I don't really want you. I want all of these people. So, you know, they're going to be trying to pressure you, be like, man, all oh, you no, this, well, this, this, I, I got, see, the good thing was, you know, which is what happens in minority communities, I had great representation. Okay. They, they, they wasn't, the, you know, my lawyers was, my lawyer was top notch. Mm. So, you know, and I. So you didn't have to go through any of that? They, they, they tried it a little bit, but it was one of those things, lawyers involved, boom. And then my dad was law enforcement and my so they mother. Couldn't, yeah, they couldn't so they couldn't, put, they, they couldn't push, but so much. Mm. Because then at that point, I'm protected on both on both points. That's real. And then, you know, so, but moving forward, you know, once I got out, you know, the reality of being a single dad, because then, you know, my wife and I were separated, right. going through a divorce. So, you know, God, I was at my lowest because at that time I still had to be low key. I had to, you know, I had to work a, you know, you I didn't, didn't have, have no that money. extra money. I didn't have that extra money that I used to have, that, right. that, that F around money. You had to get so, used to that. So I had to, I had to rebuild from the beginning, you know, so that was the, you know, and, and that was the obstacle I made myself. So um, I did, I did, I met, you know, I, I, I got another chance, I met my wife, um, we've been together 30 plus years hey, now, congratulations, that's awesome. and we, you know, she, she's my rock, she don't, she, she lets me grow, you yeah. know, which is what happens, you know, I, you know, you know I've, I've been me all my life, but when we had opportunities, you know, we went through the struggles and things like that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.